What's going on guys? We are chilling out here in Greenville, North Carolina, waiting on the Tesla that we just dropped off. We're just doing stuff around town and uh, we dropped it off. Where, where was it at? We dropped it off at Signs and Tints in Greenville, North Carolina. So uh, we got the 35% tint today, which is the darkest legal tint you can get. Yep, so I got 35 tint all the way around uh, the Tesla. I'm also doing the front windshield, but it's gonna be the lowest tint possible. Like I don't want, actually want a tint because it's illegal, but we're getting the Xpel Prime XR Plus. So the main thing about that is it gets rid of all the heat. And that's the main thing I want in the Tesla because if you don't run your AC, that's more range and it feels so much better. Plus it protects everything on the inside of the car. So we just been chilling out here, having fun, whatnot. We're about to go pick up the car. They've had it for uh, about two hours and we're gonna go pick it up and see how amazing it looks. How do you think it's gonna look? It's gonna be awesome. It, I think it's gonna look sleek. All right, just got it back. It's looking so much better. Look at the side with that. 35 is legal but with that that light you can't see anything on the inside i had them do all the windows on the outside i had them do the rear everything is looking nice even the front windshield i had the front windshield done just so i have that heat barrier but it's not tinted i think it looks good so far let's bring it home now it's been a very very long time since i've had tint but the difference between no tint and tint, this is amazing. Like I can't even, I can't even tell that my windows are tinted at all. Like normal here, it's like maybe slightly, maybe a little bit of like a bluish tint to it. But I'm so glad that I can actually see out of everything. It's huge. But I do have to say, as I am driving home, I can I can feel the difference. So I've got the sun over here on this side as it usually is over here on the left side driving home. And it's weird because when the sun peeks out of the clouds, I can feel it hit me and my arm, like where it's actually lit up over here on me. And my skin expects it to be hot, but it's not. It's so crazy. Like I can just barely feel that like there's light on me like a little bit of heat it is 98 percent uh what is it something reduction heat reduction so that's pretty cool and the other thing i'm not sure if you can get it on camera i know i just had it done and i need to wait like three days but i can tell here on the windshield there's a little bit of like um, waviness and bubbles and whatnot i don't know if you guys can see that same thing if we look in the rear view Probably not. Back there, it's the same thing. I can see like a little bit of waves and not bubbles, but you can tell that there's a film on the car. I'm gonna wait the proper amount of time, you know, give it two to three days. You know, I can't roll down my windows and whatnot. They said it's okay because the Tesla does have the automatic, you know, the windows roll down when you open and close the door. They said that's totally fine. So I'm gonna give it a few days, see if that stuff goes away. I'm gonna see if I can get it on camera to show you guys. It's just a little bit of the wavy kind of stuff. Like, hey, we just put film on your car. It should settle out and even out, but we'll see. Now we definitely, definitely gotta get her clean, but she is looking so good. I love the profile. Like I said, I'm gonna check back on it to make sure the windshield and everything else looks good. Oh, you can kind of see it. Yeah, you can see it with the lights. There's a little bit of like rippling. They said that'll go away in about a week. Uh, so at most, give it a week and see how well it does. See, I got a little bit of condensation up there. Kind of makes sense based on what they did. But we'll see how everything goes and I'll check back and we'll hopefully have a perfect car. All right, so it has been well over a week. I've let the Tesla sit in the garage. I didn't put it in direct sunlight just because I have a garage. But this garage has been well over 90 degrees consistently. So it's nice and hot in here. Everything has had time to evaporate. And at least from the outside, everything looks perfect. There's no bubbles. There's no waves. There's pretty much nothing besides just the dirtiness of my windows that you can see 
back glass, no bubbles, no specks, no weird anythings. And then on the inside, now this is what we were seeing before with like the waves and whatnot. It is crystal clear. Absolutely nothing. The windshield, none of that stuff that was on here before. Crystal clear. It looks like there is absolutely no tint on the car. The only way you can tell is the little lines right there. There you go. You can see the line where they actually started the tint. Other than that, it's it looks perfect. I don't see any waves, wrinkles, nothing. It looks beautiful. It also looks beautiful from the outside. It looks it looks so good. It looks so much better with that darker tint. I, I would love to go darker, but North Carolina law says you can only go so much on the side windows. And of course the windshield can't be done anywhere. So that was my experience. That is the quality that these guys do. So um, yeah, they had no idea I was doing this, but good on them. Absolutely fantastic. See you guys in the next video.